Hey there, this is Bug Pad Dust. Thank you for joining me for episode 8 of my Distinctly Average series where I occasionally play rather well. Um, and fortunately, this is actually one of those times. Um, I'm in my uh, Black Prince. It's a tier 7 British Heavy, which I didn't get to start off with. I just didn't get it. I hated it. I sold it. And then I came back to it, and it was after watching one of, I think it was one of Jingle's videos, where he highlighted just what a complete um, brick it can be in bouncing shots left, right, and centre, but you angle it correctly. So I kind of went away and learnt it. And I love this tank. I just am getting on so well with it. In a tier 7 game, you can absolutely dominate. Um, once again, I've forgotten to turn the sound down. So bear with me just for one second. Uh, okay, there we go, that's better. Um, and I actually put in chat, I love this tank, but it's just so slow. But you can't have everything. I think if this tank was fast as well, or faster, it would be um, somewhat overpowered. So there we have it. Um, it's it's a game on Fjords. Uh, the teams, well, the team skills, you can see it, it's like a rainbow. So, you know, God knows. Team skills really don't matter here. I guess if I was to look at it closely, they've got, yeah, they've got uh, one, two, three, four players with over a thousand W and eight, and we've got one, which is me. So anyway, let me just, uh, change the sound again so it does seem a little bit quiet sorry about this I really should have done this before we started the game sorry about that anyway so I'm going to the south where the heavy tanks really should go they should be battling out on the on the south uh, lip there if you like um, there's not really many other heavies on the team just two kv ones certainly no tier 7 heavies they have the advantage on their team they got two tier 7s and tier 6 heavy and three tier 5 heavies so to be honest they've got the advantage in terms of raw hit points and firepower um, nevertheless, um, this is a hard game for Artie to be used effectively, so what I'm doing here is, I've just said in chat, look, the north needs to push really hard, we don't have much down here. The middle, so the F4 area, has got a light tank, and a, a medium tank if he sticks around, it doesn't look like he is. So the middle's probably going to collapse, and I'm really worried that, that if, if I take time, if I run into a couple of heavies on this south corner, I can probably do okay. But it's going to take me time. I don't need to get approached from from the uh, from the rear if those tanks break through the middle. Nevertheless, here's a KV3. So let's let's start this. Bounce a shot from him. I've got a much faster reload than he has, but he's got a much higher alpha. He does about 300 something, 350 damage, 400 damage per shot. So I've got to make use of my quick firing. Don't let him back off and control the, this engagement. So I've done 466 damage, he does 383, so we, mm, I'm just slightly ahead, but he's tracked me. Now being tracked to the Black Prince is something you've got to get used to. It happens a lot, because your tracks do eat shots. So I'm going to back off, try and draw him out a little bit. I'm trying to go for his track, because if he's tracked he can't try and control the engagement which he's doing. But that doesn't work, but I do do damage. He's fired. His reload's probably about 9, 10, 11 seconds. I don't know exactly, it's been a long time since I played the KB3. So he's gone roaring round, he showed me his side. I've lost my track. He repairs very quickly. It might be a repair pack, uh, but he backs up. So he's now down to um, just over half, sorry, just uh, over a third of his health. I'm going to punish him. So again, he tracks me. Tracks eat the shot. And that's fine. Happy with that. Track um, doesn't, unfortunately, get destroyed. So here we go. Now, we've already lost the middle, so I, I, I push around this corner to give me time against the Panther M10 that's approaching from the back, and I've got to finish this guy fast now. The track eats a shot, and he goes down. I now twist round. I've got no time to spare here. Done 1400 damage already, so that's not too bad. Basically, the entire hit points of the KV3. So I spin round. I don't know if the rest of the tanks are coming south. In the meanwhile, the north hasn't actually gone very well at all. Anyway, here's the M10. M10 bounces. He's not getting through me in a hurry, so I'm, I'm going to bully him a little bit. He's got no chance. Unless he fires gold, of course. <laughs> so that's it. Great. Off we go. And my heart sinks as we start getting capped. So I'm thinking, oh, this is really bad. So I'm going to push up now. So all this time I've been um, in a shadow from, from Artie. And uh, the Panther M10 says something probably rude uh, in chat. So I give him a little bit of uh, encouragement. A nice long range shot there from the IS. Uh, at the IS. I put in a blind shot hoping to kill him. It doesn't kill him, but that's that's okay. He was the one that was capping, I think. So so I've just um, skipped it on a little bit. The um, Black Prince is rather slow. Nothing really happens uh, for sort of 10, 20 seconds there. You don't need to uh, to watch me trundle along, not really doing anything. 2,000 damage done so far, so that's not too bad. In fact, that Panther M10 you can see at the bottom of the screen was actually firing gold the whole time. 
so that's actually quite nice that I managed to bounce two of them. Anyway, so our KV-1 has made it down to their cap circle, which is great, but he's got quite a bit of work to do. So I'm going to push push back, push along. I'm trying to encourage the Comet to cap, but um, I think that's before I saw the SU-100, so... I now see on the mini-map there's, there's the RT behind me. He fires, he rushes his shot, fortunately, but I, I can't stop and finish him. I've got to get into the cap circle. We've got 52 seconds left. It's the IS that's capping. I rush my shot, but that's okay. And Because uh, if, if I miss, it's no big deal. I get another chance to fire very quickly. The rate on firing this gun is amazing. Put the IS down. Get into the shadow of the building to avoid getting hit by RT. His reload's about 30 seconds, but I wasn't having counting. Snap off a shot quickly. So I've taken the pressure off slightly here, but what I need to do now is deal with the RT. And if I'm lucky, he won't play cat and mouse, so I can, then I can turn around and concentrate on the other tanks. So let's see if I can see him. I can't. He's here somewhere. Oh, there he is. Uh, I have a bit of a derp there as I go to zoom in. There we go. Awesome. Something behind me just misses. The KV-1 misses me from behind, which is good news, because that could have shaved 150, 160 hit points off me, which I can't afford to lose at this point. But to be honest, this KV-1 guy, although he's showing us I'm not very good stats, he knows where to shoot me. I, I think this is probably a XVM camo. <laughs> Somebody who's uh, who's using someone else's account. I think he does know how to play. Or he's getting lucky. Anyway, so, so I try and keep him tracked as much as possible and put him down. Tier 5 heavy versus tier 7 heavy was never going to end well. Um, but fortunately he missed that first shot on me when, he, uh, when I had my back to him. Otherwise I'd be a lot lower in health. And that might come in um, quite important towards the end of the game. So our KV-1, Master Piercy, is doing brilliantly. He's, he's, you know, he's defending that cap. He's, you know, he's taken on the issue 100. He's got now a challenger, which he just puts down. Um, so I, I thank him in, or I praise him in chat because he's done a really good job. And credit where it's due. Credit where it is due. And again, he's not showing um, on, on XVM uh, as a particularly great player. So I suspect he may be more experienced than he's letting on. So the VK3001H was last seen in B5, B5, and obviously he's not there anymore. I think, personally, he's got round kind of A9, A0, and then coming down to the south, which makes sense. But I sweep the middle anyway, just to make sure. I'm not overly concerned. It's a tier 5 heavy, which isn't really a heavy. It's more of a medium, to be honest. But it's, um, it's a decent tank nonetheless. I don't think I've got much to worry about, but I don't have a lot of health. If he gets lucky, catches me unawares, or approaches from a direction I'm not used to, it could be quite dangerous. But there he is. So the KV-1, unfortunately, he's only, he only has 96 hit points left, but he did a great job. So props to the KV-1. So given my low damage, it's going to take me three or four shots to kill the 3001H. Um, it'll probably take him two or three shots, but he gets a bit gloaty in chat, which is really not necessary. And I put, it's time for gold. I need to make sure. I can't waste this. It's me versus him. I have the advantage, but I need to load gold to make sure that I actually close this off. I don't like firing gold if I can avoid it, but this is um, one of those times where I just need it. Need to use it, just to make sure. And <laughs> don't know where that shot went. Bounces a shot. I, I now switch to AP because I realised, you know what, this is stupid. I, I don't actually need to use gold. So again, he hits me. And I'm trying to wiggle just to make his shot, throw his shot off a bit. He bounces second shot, my shot goes in, and last one. And there we go. So, and he, uh, he's actually, <laughs> he types in chat goal shooter as I was shooting him. So I think um, he may need to concentrate more on the game itself. But there we go. And here's the post-game stats. We have a whole raft of medals and a mastery badge, which I'm really pleased about. It's my first mastery badge in the Black Prince. I've had ones before, but mastery, really happy with that. Whole raft of medals there. Fire for effect is when you... Um, when you do more damage than the hit points of your vehicle. Shell proof is when you block more damage uh, than if your vehicle has hit points. Uh, Duelist, kill two vehicles um, that damaged me. And also Hand of God, which I don't see very often. This is uh, one with Horseshoe, and that's um, when you get damaged by four vehicles, um, but you survive the battle uh, and, and win. Then you've got Bruiser, and you've got uh, Steel Wall, Top Gun, and High Calibre. So really, really pleased with, uh, with, with those medals. Moving on, so you can see that um, I did get the highest damage in the team. The Comet did very well, um, but the rest of the team, 
wow, under under kind of a thousand damage. But given what XVM was showing, I mean, I guess it did make a difference. The, the other team, quite a few of them had into the thousand damage, but we, we did manage to win this. So we, I, the victory tastes a lot sweeter when you kind of fight against the odds. I would imagine our XVM win chance wasn't very high, so maybe they got a little overconfident. And then finally we have the uh, the actual detailed stat screen. Um, 35 shot side, 29 hits, so that's not too bad. Um, damage 3.2k, we know that, but also damage block by armor 2.5k, which is really sweet. So it just gives you some idea of what the Black Prince can do. Um, certainly, yes, it was a tier 7 game, but even in tier 8 games I've, I've kind of bounced relatively reliably, certainly by side scraping, against tier 8 opponents. Um, you can see though, playing premium, those two gold shots that I fired really kind of kicked it somewhat for me but um, I'm, I'm not really playing this tank for the silver I'm playing it more to uh, to, to grind up and uh, maybe get to the Conqueror and I'm just, I think I'll just keep the, the uh, Black Prince it's a very very nice tank so uh, there we go I thought I'd throw this in here just for laughs really um, this is a mod that I run uh, Locker Stands uh, Session Stats but it shows I got 9000 WN8 which should really help to uh, to iron out all the rubbish games that I have <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that if you did please leave a like or a comment and I will catch you on the next episode Cheers. Bye.